Well, welcome back to Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. Quick update. Uh, we are delayed uh, due to uh, issues with getting concrete and getting a pumper truck in here. Um, now we've got five trailers, five trailers in here. Um, we've got every, they've got everything pretty much uh, formed up, although there is still some bracing, I think. They may have to do some more bracing, I'm not exactly sure. Some of it, I think, is actually being done on the inside of the garage. Yeah, I guess the inside, they, they did the garage over there. I'll go around and show you. Um, so we are kind of at a standstill. Uh, I asked them when... They would be ready to do it, and it looks like it's not going to be until Monday. So, um, I mean, they've got the walls, got the walls nice and straight, um, but we are came we come we have come to a screeching halt. I was hoping today was the day that was the original plan. So I came this morning, all geared up, ready to go, only to realize that it wasn't going to happen. So, kind of see what they've done here. Come around. Um, we've got they've got lots of rebar in it. Lots of bracing around here. Come around. It'll be nice to get this poured. I spoke with the uh, floor guys, I guess it was yesterday. They're gonna try to get in here sometime uh, in the next uh, next week after they get this poured, we get it stripped. Uh, but it is it's one of those things, you just have, have to do what you have to do. So I'm working around them kind of putting everything a little bit behind of where I want it to be. Also had a tree fall in the night in the wind. Luckily it fell that way as opposed to towards my building. But I thought I had gotten most of the dead trees down but that one was definitely standing dead. And as you can see you never know. That's one of the problems. That's why I didn't want any of those trees near my foundation. Or near my house, sorry. Um, what's, what else have I got here? Um, they got this fixed. So we've got uh, this chimney base. It's now going to be five feet with the with the wall continuing over. Let me just step over here. Do this without breaking my neck. Um, so the wall is going to continue the eight, eight, eight inch wall is going to continue over. Um, and You can see down there they've got rebar all in where the where the chimney's going and then down in here they got we put in a thing for the for the electrical to come out through for my light and then of course that's the that's the thing for the chimney for the clay liner I can get out of here without tripping and falling. So in some of this, they braced at the back. That's because um, they had, they're not going to be obviously walking out behind here. Um, Got all of the 
Got all the walls ready to go here. It's gonna take me forever to clean up once they leave. One of the other things that the guy who owns the company suggested, which I think was a very good idea, you could see down there we put a pipe in at the bottom of our wall so when we backfill in here, you can see this is there's a this corner is gonna have probably almost four feet of fill in it um, to get uh, this back area filled up. So that means any water has got to be able to get out of there so it doesn't uh, do damage to my wall. Put pressure, hydraulic pressure on, so I'll just take a pipe and extend it on out over the hill for that. And let's see here, they've got this all all going correctly. And also got, this is for the the garage doors. So this is all all complete. Got everything filled in here. It's, <clears throat> it's quite a quite a process to get this all all in where it needs to go. So, I wanted to give you the update. Like I said, I've been working away at um, other things. I mean, I'm working at my my interior doors. And that's been taking quite a bit of time. So I'll I'll come back and show you that before I finish this video out. I know it's a little dark in here. Get this to focus. I'll step back. But this is where I'm storing my doors, up overhead in my in my shed. This will actually, I've got five here. Got two more over at the sh uh, my friend's shop. But they're coming together. I'm slowly getting them done, and eventually, when we get when I start building. When I start building down here the house, I get this stuff cleared out because everything is, I mean, I'm just kind of boxed in here because I've got so much of the material. But as soon as I get my material cleared out and put it, you know, use it for building, I can have more area in my baby barn to move stuff around and store my doors a little better. So anyway, just a quick video. Uh, I know some of you were expecting concrete pour today, and I was hoping to do that video. But alas, here we are. It is what it is. Uh, we've been getting so much rain here in eastern Tennessee. And today was just happened to be a good day when the guys got back and finished up pretty much everything. So we're pretty much there, ready for pouring. And once we get that poured next week... I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to get on the, at least get the rim joists on, get the plates down, the rim joists on while I'm waiting for the floors to go in. I've also got to put the floor drains in before the floor guys can get here. So, still got a lot of work to do. Anyway, I appreciate you joining me, with me. If you would, please like and subscribe. Hang with me. We are going to start building before you know it. And like I say, out of the ashes is going to come a, come, hopefully come a house. And so, um, thanks for sticking with me all this time. Um, and I know it's it's one of those things you wonder is it ever going to ever going to amount to anything. But Lord willing, we'll get there. So, until next time, as always, you have a great day.